His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan held a phone call today during which they discussed bilateral relations and developments in the region. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa patronized today in presence of the BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, a celebration on the success of Bahrain Defense Forces officers' participation, Duty Force 1, within the Saudi led Arab coalition to restore legitimacy in Yemen. On arrival, His Majesty the King was welcomed by Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Commander of Royal Special Forces, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who led Duty Force 1. سلام سيدي حضر صاحب الجلالة سلام قف After the royal anthem was played, His Majesty the King inspected the Guard of Honor who lined up in his salute. Duty Force 1 has returned to the kingdom after completing its duty in Yemen as part of the Saudi-led Arab coalition. Duty Force 1 officers have courageously fought side by side with the National Yemeni Army and the public resistance supported by the Joint Arab Coalition Forces in liberating the city of Marib, regaining full control of El Mandib Straits in support of Yemen's legitimacy so as to restore its progress and prosperity and deter foreign greed in the region.
جماعتكم بدء حرب طابور سيدي قوه الواجه بنولا
After that, the Royal Guard Commander Brigadier General Hussain Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he hailed His Majesty the King's directives regarding supporting the Saudi forces in securing its southern borders from the terrorist Houthi militias, as well as participating in the Arab coalition aiming at supporting legitimacy and maintain stability in Yemen. His Highness added that following the directives of His Majesty the King to liberate the city of Marab and Bab al Mandeb, the Special Royal Guard forces led by His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa, as well as PDF units and with the support of Saudi and Emirati forces, the city was liberated in a record time. He also said that the Royal Guard forces are still participating in the Arab coalition operations in Yemen, in addition to the humanitarian assistance to the Yemeni people in cooperation with the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, and Bahrain Red Crescent. His Highness hailed the bravery of Bahraini forces led by the Royal Guard Special Forces Commander, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in performing their duty and prayed God Almighty to rest the souls of the martyrdom in eternal peace and wish the injured a speedy recovery. His Highness expressed pride for His Majesty the King's patronization of the celebration and pledged to follow the directives of His Majesty the King and to defend the nation and its citizens. He then expressed his thanks and appreciation for all those who provided support while performing the honorable duty and in particular to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and to the BDF Commander-in-Chief for their constant support. Then the Captain Abdullah Ajman recited a poem on the occasion. After that, His Majesty the King granted His Highness Sheikh Nasser the order of Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa first class in appreciation for his ongoing efforts to develop the Royal Guard and for what he has achieved of high combat readiness and professionalism, as well as for his courage and efficiency in leading Duty Force One, in addition to his personal supervision of the humanitarian relief campaign that Bahrain is presenting to Yemen to lift its people's suffering, as well as for his numerous contributions in serving the kingdom and in appreciation for his highness sheikh khalid's courageous actions while leading duty force one and other forces from broadly countries on the time of the attack on marab his majesty the king granted his highness sheikh khalid the order of bravery for his courage and wisdom in controlling the situation amid rough times and minimizing human losses as possible his majesty the king also granted orders to the officers non-commissioned officers and individuals taking part in the noble mission in appreciation for their efforts during the honorable duty. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the officers of the Duty Force One for their courage and efficiency, congratulating them on performing their honorable duty. He commended their heroic work and sacrifices, which are a source of pride for the people of Bahrain and Bradley militaries taking part in the operations. He praised the efforts of the officers and affiliates of the Royal Guard for performing their honorable duties side by side with BDF officers, wishing the kingdom's martyrs eternal peace his majesty wished success to all pdf officers who continued their duty as part of operation decisive storm and operation restoring hope within the joint arab coalition forces wishing them safe return once completing their noble mission the event was attended by senior officers and officials as well as the British Parachute Regiment who are taking part in special training with the BDF as part of the joint military cooperation between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Gadabiya Palace the team which participated in the ceremony of the Information and Communication Technology, the ICT, in Sustainable Development Award in recognition for His Royal Highness's keenness to achieve sustainable development goals on both local and international levels. His Royal Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to the team headed by Sheikh Hassan bin Isa Al Khalifa for their efforts in delivering the true image of the kingdom regarding its constant support to sustainable development. His Royal Highness also hailed the efforts of the team through their meetings with UN senior officials on the sidelines of the ITU's 150th anniversary, in addition to the reception held by the team in the UN headquarters, which highlighted Bahrain's significant cultural development. During the meeting, Sheikh Hassam bin Isa Al Khalifa presented His Royal Highness a copy of the book titled Bahrain and the UN Over the Years, which was launched at the UN headquarters on the sidelines of the UN's 70th anniversary.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Gadabiya Palace members of the royal family and senior officials in the presence of the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps and Kuwaiti Ambassador to Bahrain Azam Mubarak Al Sabah. His Royal Highness stressed that the economic concerns won't slow the government's march and its strategy towards achieving further progress and strengthen the kingdom's economic growth and development. He affirmed that the challenges faced in Bahrain only increases motivation to improve in various fields. He lauded the role and effort of the people of Bahrain in contributing to Bahrain's march towards development. He also stressed the importance of acquiring every opportunity to achieve the best for Bahrain and overcome all challenges. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's progress will continue towards further prosperity and development to meet the aspirations of citizens. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, opened today the third ordinary session of the second session of the fourth legislative term. The attendees agreed to postponing the discussion to redirect government subsidies for goods and services for a week. The meeting agreed on the Financial and Economic Affairs Report regarding the audited financial statements of the Representatives Council of the year 2014. The representatives also provided suggestions to the government regarding the amended proposal law concerning the high cost of living and also regarding the extension of working hours of Jidhaf's health center. The meeting approved the government's decision to impose fees regarding money transfer outside the kingdom. Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Maidan led Bahrain's delegation to the GCC Social Development Minister's meeting for their 32nd session in Doha, Qatar. Addressing the session, he underlined Bahrain's keenness on promoting cooperation between member states and exchanging successful practices to develop social work. The minister stressed the importance of sustainable social development on the basis of justice and equality to ensure social welfare, commending the efforts of social development ministries to achieve aspirations and confront challenges. The Bahraini parliamentary delegation to the 133rd Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union in Geneva held a press conference regarding Bahrain's participation. And now we are joined by member of the Representatives Council, Dr. Jamila El Samak, to tell us more. Um, uh, today we have a conference um, um, and, and we actually the, the purpose of this conference is to 
highlight the achievement uh, in Bahrain. Um, uh, as you are aware that many achievements in Bahrain is unfortunately hidden uh, for one reason or another. And this is um, the first conference actually being uh, held here in ITU. Um, this is the first time that such conference is um, uh, being held in order to show the achievements um, in Bahrain. And that's all because of the support which we have uh, received from uh, Mr. Ahmed Al Mulla, uh, the chair of uh, the parliament in Bahrain. Uh, we have highlighted many of the achievements, uh, myself because I am the chair of Women and Child um, Committee. I have highlighted actually um, some of the achievements um, uh, for the women uh, in Bahrain. Um, uh, as you, uh, you know, you, there are many achievements, um, especially within the, uh, you know, uh, women field. Um, which has been uh, really uh, supported by the high authorities uh, in, in the kingdom um, because of the, uh, the support that we have received as women in Bahrain. Um, many of um, you know um, achievements have been highlighted, and also I have here uh, my colleagues with me, some of the parliamentarians. Uh, they also uh, spoken about the. Uh, the tourism that's being faced, uh, you know, uh, by the government in Bahrain. Um, and also uh, they talk about the achievements um, uh, politically, uh, financially, and also uh, socially uh, in Bahrain. Uh, this is all uh, what we talk today about uh, in this uh, session. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain oil shares index at 1,248.90 points as it closed, marking an increase of 0.99 points above last closing. This increase was due to the rise in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment sector, representing 49% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 41 equity transactions uh, took place with a volume of 1,233,450 worth 218,959 Bahraini dinars.